Hello friends, today I will show you how to very easy Kali Linux can solve dual boot problem. When you dual boot in Kali Linux, you will face some problem after dual booting. As you may not find dual boot Windows Grab bootloader, or you have already dual booted your Kali Linux, but after installing Windows, you cannot find the Linux Grab bootloader menu. This problem is especially common if you already have Kali Linux dual booted but after you install Windows, Linux grab boot menu not found. Sometimes Linux dual boot shows your bootloader missing. You will get the solution all of problems in this video. So please watch the video carefully step by step. I saw it from phone no big deal. You do it on computer screen your problem will be solved. Open your favorite browser and type in the search bar EasyBCD. Then press enter. You can see your search result and click here. With the help of this tool you can easily solve GAP bootloader missing. Please read them carefully. I will give the download link in the video description. Please check. The tool has two versions on free and one paid. I will provide the free version download link in the video description. Now click here to download. Please read them carefully step by step. Again, click here download now. Free for Windows 11, but I will give you the free version tools for Windows 10. Check in the video description. After downloading, install the tool on your computer very easy. After the installation is complete, open the tool. After install the tool and click open, you can see the interface. How you can solve Windows Grab bootloader problem? Simply click here to add a new entry. Choose your operating system, in my case Windows. Select your Windows type. This tool automatically select name and drive. Click add entry and done. After the process is complete, you restart the computer. You can see that your problem is solved. How you can solve Linux GAP bootloader missing after install the Linux. Same process, click here to add a new entry and choose your operating system. In my case, Linux, type bootloader grub2, name and drive automatically selected and click add entry, done. After complete the process, you restart your computer, you can see fix the problem. If you have any kind of problem, please comment and if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like, comment and share. Thanks for watching this video.